the doobies. Come on, everybody with a big smile, a big finish. That's good. Penny, hey, hooray, good. Yes, well, we're going to have a really big show in 1962. Four quick starts. Faster warm-up. More power quicker. An installation. No money down, as little as fun. Here, we are going to have a ball. Yay! Hi, boys and girls. Hi, Professor Cool. And welcome to what we hope will be the best birthday party you have ever attended. 11.15 on Channel 13. Wait, who do you think you are? Changing a calendar and everything. Who do you think you are? Julius Caesar? Yes, I ain't P.W. Doodle. With curly eyes and laughing hair, sing Bobby Bobby Doodle all the day. Hi, Buccaneers, and welcome aboard the fair wind for today. I tell you, it took us about that long to take care of Bad Bill Bradley, eh? That brought back some I memories, didn't it? Pete how, the Pirate, Professor Cool, and P.W. Doodle. Pirate These pirate characters may be gone from our TV screens, but the guys who were those characters day after day for all those years are very much alive. We got them all together in Stu Kerr's living room. Stu was Bozo the Clown, Professor Cool, the Early Riser, the Weatherman, Mr. Fortune, and about a million other characters. These days, he's working for the Maryland Center for Public Broadcast broadcasting and freelancing his talents around so Baltimore and Washington. Larry Lumen was Pete the Pirate, and he's now one of the most sought-after voices for commercials in the business. Royal Parker was P.W. Doodle. He's still working for Channel 11. This is the first time the three of them have ever appeared together on TV. Royal got his start right here at Channel 13 in the early 50s when we were known as W.A.A.M. Come on, you can get on free. And so can all the of you out there every Monday the through Friday at 4.55 on TV 13. And in the front of a studio and a set maybe 4 by 5 on a platform. It was a cutout of a stylized type tunable Charlie. And that, that's, that was a character. Hi, the little and labor. Come join the bunch. Take time from your labor and enjoy your lunch. Hop aboard our jolly trolley and be a member of our special club. I'm the conductor, Mr. Pop Lolly. <laughs> And off we go with the rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, when I was doing the Bozo show near the end of the run, which was about 10 years, I would say, uh, okay, let's watch a Bozo cartoon. And the 45 kids would go, ugh. <laughs> the management would say, what's going on? Everybody's hating. I said, I'll tell you what's happening. We're playing so many games that they don't want to watch the old cartoon. Mm. And they said, look, we're, you know, it's costing us 30 grand a year to rent these things. Can you come up with another idea? I said, you wouldn't believe it. This is a professor in a schoolroom. They said, it will never go. Kids hate school. I said, this will be a fun school. And it ran for 14 years. And that's how, that, that's how we got from Bozo to Professor Cool. Wow. How, did the, how did the old well, pirate start? Uh, Nancy and I had come here to do What's New with the Lumens. And she had gone off the air to have our first uh, child, Lance, who's now 25. And I was left alone, and I got real boring. It's a miracle they didn't fire me. I have no idea why they didn't fire me. But they said, you know, would you like to do a kid's show? I was sitting in the booth. Sure, I'd be glad. So I gave them five ideas, one of whom, the pirate idea, I got from Joe Benty, who was an announcer there at the time, and a longtime friend of mine. And I said, would you mind if I use that? He said, no, I'm never going to do anything with it. So I, it was a pirate and an Indian and a whatever. And they picked the pirate, and I ended up with Pete the Pirate. It was uh, August of 60, I guess, August of 1960. Of course, everything was live back then, and when it's live, anything can go wrong. Like the time Pete was doing a commercial for Stripe Toothpaste, he was working the puppet Stripey Stripe. Stripey was supposed to sing a little song, recorded, of course, and the recording didn't work exactly right. What do you do in a situation like that? Well, if you're live, you just fake it until you're rescued. Well, why don't you sing? Are you going to dance or are you going to sing? <laughs> some days, some days, he's a dancer. See, he doesn't really dance very well, but he thinks he can. Stripey, Stripey, don't dance. Don't, please, don't dance. Like like crazy, crazy. You put your whole self in. You put your whole self out. You put your whole self in. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all. I can remember having a big discussion, I won't say argument, it was a discussion with the PTA. And uh, 
Someone wrote in the paper that uh, Professor Cool sings a song, We Like School, We Like School, to the tune of Jingle Bells, because it's lots of fun. Bob Keeshan said to me he would rather, that was Captain Kangaroo, he would rather have a 5% educational show and 95% of the kids watching than a show that's 95% educational and only 5% watching. Oh! Buccaneers, come aboard me, Artie. It was in September of 1965, it's I think, the final program. And, time and uh, for those five years, I think between the time I was 23 and the time I was 28, or something like that, uh, were among the happiest uh, of my life. I was really, really playing pirate every day. Right, and and right. so there was a certain sadness in uh, in sailing off into the sunset. Here, I'll be here. I'm P.W. Doodle. With Curly, I send a laughing hair, sing, Paddy, Waddy, Doodle, all the day. 